The United States is planning for more missions to the moon in the coming years, but time works differently on the moon. So the White House is tasking NASA with a critical mission, establish a lunar time standard. Max Darrow explains. As John F. Kennedy committed to in 1961. We go into space because whatever mankind must undertake, free men must fully share. The United States in 2024 is once again mapping out plans for missions to the moon. We are closer than ever to returning humans to the moon. The Artemis II crew will be the first people to lay eyes on the far side of the moon in more than half a century. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Precision was critical in this moment, and it will be for future missions to the moon as well. Time is a key component of that, but on the moon, time works differently. And these define why it is that time runs differently. On astronomer Gerald McKeegan's whiteboard are two equations from the theory of relativity. The simple explanation. If you're on the moon, your clock runs about 56 microseconds per day faster than it does on the Earth. That equates to about two one hundredths of a second over the course of a year. Well, it doesn't sound like a lot. When you're talking about things like navigation signals that require very precise timing, you have to take that into account. So the White House has directed NASA to lead the way in developing a lunar time standard, not just a time zone, ready to implement by the end of 2026. See, the reason they set that target is because Artemis is expected to start landing on the moon in 2026. Over the next decade, the U.S. won't be the only entity with missions to the moon. Per that White House memo, establishing a unified time standard will be foundational as this happens. By international agreement, no country can possess the moon. Uh, the moon is available to all countries, and missions to the moon are, in theory, done for the benefit of all mankind. The last crewed mission to the moon was Apollo 17 in 1972. However, earlier this year, a major milestone, Odysseus touched down on the lunar surface the first time a spacecraft built in the United States made it to the moon in more than 50 years. As our equipment is on the surface of the moon. However, upon landing, one of the spacecraft's legs got stuck in a ditch and it tipped over. The spacecraft did collect data until it lost power. Despite that mishap, scientists still considered the mission a major success.